everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Still got a sore arm, so we're going to have to keep the uh, episode a little shorter again today. Well, it wasn't really a little shorter yesterday. I tried to make it shorter, but it didn't really happen. But um, we try to make it a little shorter today. Uh, I'm taking some time off work, too, to get my arm back into shape. So that should probably help out. So let's have a look in the mech base. We've jumped planets. We're at, uh, I'm not even going to attempt Strana Mechi. Mechti. Uh, I butchered it, I know, and I apologize. I was corrected once before, and I still can't. <laughs> I still can't do it. We're here now, uh, and what it does, I, t I took a um, priority mission, which is uh, why we're here. Now let's have a look real quick, uh, star map wise. Jade Falcon's been doing some good work here. Once again, good job, guys. Look at this, making our way up Ghost Bear territory, and we've pretty much so solidified a wall here against Clan Wolf. Now, from what I've heard from online, a lot of the wolf fights aren't really logging in a, a bunch and playing. I think they're waiting for the new release. Uh, then I bet you this map will change like crazy. But if we can get some more Jade Falcon followers, we can do some good work here. I think we can, if we can do this, we can do, get ourselves working down here. Once 999 hits the map resets, that'll be cool. Um, I can't wait. There's some really cool stuff coming out in 999, it looks like. I don't know a lot of the details. I'm not really privy, privy to that stuff. But from what I've read, there's some pretty cool stuff coming out. So this is us here. Um, oh, the Lost Boys apparently are here too. Uh, who else do we got? Uh, huh. And Hot Box. Brandon's Marauders. Looks like a few of these guys we've seen here before. A lot of people on. Hey, Val Galaxy 8th Falcon Guards. Hey, Boyd of Zinj. Welcome to the map again. Uh, there's somebody else that posted their, their, uh, um, company name. And I, God, I keep, ha I, I keep forgetting. You know what it is? It's because I haven't really seen them on, I think. So I'm having a hard time remembering. And you know what? If you're watching this episode, and I know you've dropped your uh, uh, your uh, um, company name in the uh, comments. Drop it again, and it will remind me. Sometimes I have a bad short-term memory for things like that. So if you drop it again, that would be fantastic. I'll make sure I give you a shout-out if I see you on. Uh, but right now, let's have a look in the mech bay, because I did, I did change a few things. I thought I would just switch things up a little bit. Now, there's a few comments in the comment section. You know, really, really valid comments. So I've taken some things and I'm, I'm thinking about it. So one of the comments was that the original Lance that we had, so the Stormcrow Prime, Stormcrow D, Nova E and F, was running really, really fluently and really well. And, and I agree, it was. And the new Lance that we have, we've only run a few missions with it, not quite as fluid. We're still kind of working out the kinks. Now, what I like from the last episode, I like the Gorilla and the four ER large lasers pinpoint damage at long range. We don't need to move fast because uh, we got the Chameleon LPS system, which gives us, you know, um, makes it really hard for people to hit at longer distances. So we don't need to move in very quickly with this guy. Minus 50% visibility and signature makes this a great long range firepower mech. Now, the Timberwolf, there were some comments about it. And I changed the loadout. You can see we're missing the LRM racks now. I've changed the loadout ever so slightly. Now, I'm trying to figure out how we want to run this lance. And I'm thinking because we're moving higher, um, I think we want to go with more long-range firepower um, and better vision on the enemy. So my thought is this. We've got the Bushwhacker for long range. It's 55 tons. It's not really that heavy. It needs to stay back, right? So that's going to be one of the uh, long-range firepower max. The Night Gear, obviously, going to be long-range firepower with the four missile points. So that's got to stay back. So those two guys are going to be back. Uh, the Night Gear's got Void Armor, and we've got the Chameleon on the other guy, on the Gorilla, so they can stay hidden. Now, the Timberwolf is really going to be that kind of command mech. It's going to be the one with the command and control. It's going to be spotting the enemies and stuff. That, along with the second mech that we're going to have up front, and I'll explain that in a second. So this guy here, I changed him slightly. What I thought I would try and do, uh, somebody had mentioned going to a different loadout, one of the more, um, I guess, traditional loaders, which was two ERPPCs. Um, I think it was one SRM-6 and three uh, pulse lasers. But that's a ridiculously hot build. Uh, and you know me, I hate having weapons on the mech that I can't use consistent, like constantly. I like to be able to fire everything all the time. So, But they were right about having a more close-in build, and I think that's the, one of the things I think we, I want with this guy, getting a little closer to the enemy and not being too worried about it. So 
with the last build that we had with the pair of LRM 15s, it was a little hotter, I think. This one, the heat is a bit better. Um, we don't have such a wide variance. Plus with the streaks, they're not going to fire all the time. They're only going to fire when we know they're going to hit, right? Uh, I, I, the biggest e-cooling I have is a plus one right now. I don't have a lot of C bills, so I didn't want to buy a plus five. Uh, I would have bought a plus five and dropped it in, but once again, um, that was from uh, Tallendale, I believe, mentioned putting the plus five in because it saves all this space. And there's less chance for these to be crit, right? That's that's the bonus about putting the, uh, the e-cooling in. So if we can pull off, we've seen a few plus fives when we've been playing. So if I can find one and steal it off the battlefield, we're going to go ahead and do that and replace this and take all these extra heat sinks out of here. Because I think that's a perfectly great idea. Now we put it... We left the ER larges and the ER mediums in this guy, and I threw a command console on the head. And my thought behind this is it's going to give us, this guy gets plus one initiative, plus two initiative for all Lance units. So this guy is going to be, from what I understand, plus three initiative, which is great, and then plus two for everybody else, which is fantastic. 100% Lance based sight distance, which means everyone's going to have 100 um, hex more sight distance, which I think is great, especially for our long range mechs. Plus two la uh, Lance accuracy with indirect fire. So when I show you the night gear, you'll understand why that's important. Um, then we got two increased resolve gain for all Lance members, right? So that's because we've all got increased resolve gain. That's, or well, not everybody, but a bunch of us, two of us have increased resolve gain. That's going to help out too. Two injury resists, resists, so this guy can get in closer. I'm not really worried about head hits, things like that. Um, and then the sensor suite, which provides a stacking bonus of four to sensor checks made by this unit. So hopefully we can uh, detect more units when we get in close. I replaced the regular ECM suite with a Nova C, uh, CEWS uh, because of the minus 50 reduced uh, signature. Uh, but we're also getting increased resolve gain from this, a, a massive 240 uh, meter uh, ECM bubble, which is fantastic. Uh, the countermeasure suite, which gives us bonus sensor checks and everything like that. So this guy... Uh, I think here is probably um, like really, really important. And then, of course, all our cooling and stuff, and we got case. Now, we only have one ton of streak ammo, which if the streaks are hitting all the time, we're looking at about eight turns. Well, let's see, 84, nine turns of firing continuously. But because the, all the streaks aren't going to be firing all the time, uh, this ammo is probably more than enough for the two true streak sixes. So we're going to leave it like that. Um, if we need more ammo, we can figure things out at that point. But for now, that's how it's going to stay. Now, I was going to put the um, heat reduction armor on here, but the, taking the Pharaoh out and putting the heat reduction re reduction armor on really strips us of a lot of weight. I think we lost like two and a half tons of weight uh, because of that. So uh, I just left the Pharaoh fibers in for now. So that's this guy. Uh, I'm hoping this functions fairly well. I'm not sure... The LRM 15s were nice, but like I said, I want a close in build. I want a little bit more direct fire uh, damage and accuracy. So the night gear we changed. Going to have a look at the night gear. I wanted to try this out. Now we might go back to the arrow system, but I don't know for now. I pulled the, the arrow system off. So now we've got four LRM 20s, whereas before we had the arrow, two 15s, and a, and a 20. Um, so we got four LRM 20s plus the Artemis system. We get plus one indirect with this guy, but what this allows us to do, obviously, is use the Artemis ammo, which is going to give us plus two to hit. Um, so that's a bonus. The range finder, so this guy's got a 100% base sight distance, plus he's going to have 100 more from the command console. So we're going to have uh, 200 um, extra meter sight range. So he's going to be seeing people a lot better, um, hopefully, and then capitalizing with the LRMs. Plus we've got plus one indirect here, plus two more from the command console uh, in the Timberwolf. So it's going to be plus three indirect fire accuracy. So if we had to shoot indirect fire, we've got a better chance to hit. So that's kind of good. I just dropped the recon sensors in because I didn't know what else to do. And then we had them lying around. I figure if it's giving us bonus against overheating targets and things like that, this will help out every, you know, just a slight bit more. Then I also dropped in the ER large laser. Uh, I was hoping to put two in, but there's just no way with the weight and everything. So I dropped one in for some pin, uh, pinpoint laser accuracy at, at range. Now this guy's got pretty good heat sinking here. Um, we're you know a little shy, but that's not a big deal for a mech like this. Uh, case two in both torsos again to to, to uh, keep the ammo, and we've got um, nine tons of ammo. So that's about I think 13 and a half turns of continuous fire with the LRMs, which I think is more than plenty. I was, I had 12, or I had eight of these in, which was giving me 12 turns, and I'm like, you know, 
there's been a few times when we've, we've hit just the very limit of the ammo at the end. So I added an extra ton just to give that extra turn and a half, just to give us a bit of wiggle room and leeway. Um, plus we got the large for pinpoint damage. So if we, if we do run out or we're only firing a couple, we got the large we can fire too, right? So that's kind of good. So the equaling plus two in the center torso, um, just in order to get everything in. Uh, Novus EWS for to keep this guy hidden. Minus 50% reduced sensor, right? And then we got the void system again. Right, which is giving us minus 65 percent uh, visibility, minus 55 reduced sensor. So, this guy is going to be hidden as long as he doesn't move or moves very, very slowly within five hexes or so. He's going to be like completely hidden, hopefully, at distance, and we won't have to worry about people shooting at him. So, that's that. So, now that's three mechs, and I think those three are working actually really great. So, we got the night, night gear and the bushwhacker. Bushwhacker can move in if it has to. Um, but the night gear and the bushwhacker at long range, Timberwolf moving in close, and now I'm thinking we were using the Nova E with the Ultra 20. So I'm thinking that what we're going to do for for this mission only is we're going to run the Shadowhawk here, this the SX, um, because what I want to do with the new Shadowhawk that we got, and it's not quite up and running yet, and I want to get this mission done, um, is we're going to do the Ultra 20 build on this guy. So we got a we got a ballistic hard point that we can run with, and we had the Ultra 20 build on the Nova E. So I'm thinking for now, until we get another Omni Mech, um, and I, because I want to run the old Lance that we had as the second Lance, I want to try and build this Shadowhawk with an Ultra. Now the other the other way to do it would be to put it in the Griffin, like like uh, basically strip everything off the Griffin and do it here. But because we have this mech that hasn't been uh, built yet, and I want to get it built. I think I'll do it on this mech. Um, so that's my thought. Uh, so let's have a look at our Argo here and our contract. We're going to launch the contract. So this is basically, um, a, I can't remember if it was an attack on Wolf, but it basically we're going in to uh, steal some stuff out of um, um, factories. I can't remember what it was. Um, some kind of... Uh, some kind of drug or something I can't remember but it was a really big contract it was like 2.1 million uh, it's three and a half skulls and it was 729 salvage which is what we took so hopefully we can get some really great salvage out of this and I think it was like ended up being 400,000 or 500,000 I think in C bills so we'll just have to see how, how much we get out of this so let's launch this and get this sucker done all right launching the contract let's do this guys Okay, flushing out. Oops, no, we're not flushing you out. We're leaving you in. We're flushing the gorilla stays, Timberwolf stays. Nova is coming out. Night Gear staying, and we're gonna bring in the the Strix SX. Now this guy, uh, I kind of like this guy. It's got three ER large lasers and two ER mediums, which we can cycle on and off. A lot of cooling pods and stuff. So, and it's got some speed to it. Feral lamellar for defense because I want this guy up close. So yeah, let's deploy this lance and get this done. All right, here we go. So moving up, the drugs are in this base here. We're gonna take it, and then we're gonna have reinforcements, and then we'll get out of here and get paid. So I don't want to mess around. Um, don't want to mess around here and not take down mechs. Depending, it's three and a half skulls. So I mean, I don't know really what to expect. Yeah, this guy's not that fast. This is the Strix. Let's move up here so we don't block the other mechs. Okay, you're a little faster. Marginally faster. And Griff is slow as a turd. Well, not that slow either. Alright, not bad. Okay. Griff the stiff. Hug the wall here. All right, what do we got? We got Jager Mac. Okay, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Arctic Wolf Prime, Vapor Eagle, and a Kit Fox. So not so bad. And then we got regular turrets, heavy turret chassis, armored shredder. Got to take that one down. Armored shredder's not so bad. Armored laser. This is heavy turret. I have no what's on there, but the shredder turret we got to kill. So we'll take that out. All right, blockade. Let's just move up, and we got the arty. So let's just see what our chance to hit here is. 
Yeah, not bad. AC-20, AC-10, 450 armor, huh? All right, let's tab around and see what we got here. So there's the Shredder turret. Same thing. Kit Fox, ER Medium, Missile Loadout, okay. That's the Jager mech with the Goss. Oh, the HA-30 Gosses. All right. Oh, that's LBXs. We got to take that turret out, too. I'll take all these turrets out fast. At least they're not um, indirect fire turrets. Streaks. That's the laser turret. Vapor Eagle. ERPPC, huh? How much armor? 850? Eh. I think we go... Yeah. Let's go with... Um, I don't know. Forty-seven on the agar. Uh, really good chances on this turret, so let's take it. Firing. Roger that. All right. These guys are all going to be moving after us. But the one bonus thing is, is they're going to be coming in close. So let's put the 75 tonner up here. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Can they not see us? It is pretty freaking highly likely that they can't see us. Was that a big target on his back? Wait a minute. He's got like a big target on his back. Dude, I gotta change this. He's got like the, the falcon wings on the front, but it's like a friggin' target on the back. I know I shouldn't be, I don't, I, mean, I shouldn't really care about that, but that's, you know, it's kind of funny. All right, so we got a better chance to hit this time. Hopefully, we can wipe the turret out. We got took about half of it off last time. Yep. Shred that. That one's gone. <laughs> it is. Oh, that's that back turret. I don't know if you can actually see us. Just gonna fire on him. I miss with one at 91%. Dang. Oh, damn. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. So I'm going to see about taking a lot more um, priority contracts. It seems a lot of the priority contacts uh, or contracts are giving us really good salvage. So I think we're probably going to be taking a fair bit more of those. Hopefully we can finish this turret up here. Yeah, we won't have enough with this guy. We got, what, 180, 240. The Warlord, we might have enough. Let's try it. I ain't gonna bother math in that. Ah, really? Well, Mockingbird can finish it up. Now, that guy's got LRMs, and he did not shoot. So I don't know whether it's that he can't see us, or what that is. Super. Running super cool with just the four lasers, which is great. So the one thing, I w you know, someone mentioned about me having a lot of hot builds. Yeah, I totally get that. My builds are hot, especially in the uh, in the desert situations. They can get really roasty. Um, but the one thing I do like about the hotter mechs, uh, we wouldn't want to put you... Um, is that they don't run out of ammo. You don't have to worry about ammo explosions. 
Um, plus, usually my builds are really heat neutral, so I can fire all weapons pretty much all the time. So we're just going to fire straight on this guy. Um, so I don't really mind it. I don't mind having hot builds. Just going to fire straight out. Okay, now can we get direct line of sight on this guy? We can. Let's see what this looks like. And I know he's got some damage reduction, but we're going to warlord it just to give us a better chance to hit. So ER large laser, 28%. But we did run, and this guy doesn't really have any accuracy with the laser, which is in the head, not the arms. So, I mean, not the best, but it, we are in a desert environment, and we're going to fire everything, and we're completely heat neutral. So that's a, that's a huge bonus. So that's just a clan symbol, so I don't know if it's uh, what clan we're up against. Also, somebody mentioned too about, uh, you know, not liking the Jade Falcons because, you know, they're uh, one of the Crusader clans and they're kind of fascist in their ways and they want to wipe out the Inner Sphere. I totally get that. Uh, but, you know... I kind of like the Jade Falcons, um, partly because of their, honestly, and this is going to sound kind of petty and ridiculous, I like the color scheme, uh, I like the, I like their, um, their uh, logo, I like pretty much, you know, all that stuff about them, I don't really care about the Crusader clan, um, uh, other clan, like, or the, uh, what do you want to call it, the, uh, um, whatever the other one is, I can't remember, not Crusader, uh, whatever the other one is, the ones that didn't want to go to war. Um, but I, I don't really care about that battle. I just care about, you know, looking cool and fighting. Because, I mean, really, it's a game, and does it, to me, it doesn't really matter. So, plus, if you're going to roleplay, roleplay the clan as it is. So, you know, that and, good. you know, if you're playing the clans, we can just fight each other continuously like we, like we have been doing. But when 999 hits... I want to take it to the Inner Sphere, man. What's the point of being the clans if you can't wipe out the Inner Sphere? Wow. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Oh, we got a little bit of a... A little bit of a glitch here. Little bit of a glitch. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, cause any problems yeah you're dead Orders. Johnny the Jagger back there don't go through the laser it's gonna chop your legs off yeah see now this is a hot build but I already knew it when we when I put it together I was looking for pinpoint on this guy and that's exactly what we got there We gotta get Griff moving because that laser is really bugging me. Wonder if it'll continue. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Yeah, it's still stuck there. We may have that for the rest of the battle. <laughs> we'll find out shortly. Nope. I guess it. Well, this the laser's still there. The sound's gone. I'm wondering if it was connected to. Um, if it was somehow connected to uh, the mech there when it fired. But the laser being there is kind of weird. Okay, Kid Fox. Now, we don't want to really come out of this corner until we can negate that back turret. This one right here. So we're going to do that. Start on it this turn. Finish it up next turn. Then we can poke out here a little bit without having to worry about this turret. It's nice that they're not LRM turrets. Now, do we want to go... I think we want to reserve. I want to see how what kind of pushing this these guys want to do here. Because we can wipe out that Kit Fox pretty quick. 
What is he doing? Standing by. Um, yeah. I don't mind losing my initiative here. Oh, that's a lot of missiles. Hey, my MS didn't go off. Probably because it's stuck here. Oh, we it did go off. All right, let's start on this Kit Fox. Uh, can we? Forty-seven percent for CT. Should have ran when you had the chance. Commander. Um, can we do the same thing on this guy? I think, maybe. Let's get into here. I want the 75 ton in front of the other guy. Let's do an offensive push on him. Yeah, I don't really have a great chance to hit, but we're going to take it. It's not like we're uh, doing anything else. That's a miss. Huh. You got him with the streaks, though. I don't know why you're complaining. All right, let's do this again. Good, really got really great chances to hit with this mech. Big heat problems, but really great chances to hit. Firing. Ooh. You don't need to move. Just finish this up. Um, forty percent, but we're gonna take it. Enemy mech destroyed. Waiting for orders. Okay, we're gonna get a bit of a cool off here. Ready for orders. Nope, don't want the turret. Not yet. We're going to move out next turn and take it. Standing by. Uh. All right. Full speed. If we can do this up without using missiles, we're going to do that. Okay. Turret first. Shut the hell up while well, I'm fighting. If I'm not being shot from behind, your 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 job is to not talk. If I'm being shot from behind, then you can talk me to me, but I'm not being attacked from behind, so just stay quiet. It's like, you know, turning off turning on and off the overheat. You were going to overheat, yeah, you think? That's why I turn it off. Okay, taken care of with that. Target destroyed. Ready for orders. Moving out. Okay, let's hammer this guy. Standing by. Yeah, let's give him a little bit more of a hammer. Now, do we want to? We do this. There we go. So I think this, this Lance is getting a bit more synergy for me. Um, we got to replace the Strix. We definitely need, I think we need like a heavy uh, weapon in there. We don't, well, I mean, uh, the sheer volume of ER large lasers though is making up for the lack of AC-20, I think. That's just me. Let's make sure we're all cooled off here. Now we're going to have four mechs most likely coming up on us. How far can you get? Not all the way. Okay. So I think you don't need to be all the way back. Let's bring you back up into here. Luce. Let's not get over there. Let's get over here just in case they show up on the road and can see us early. I don't want that. 
Uh, Griff is actually going to be the one that's going to activate simply because of that chameleon system. You should be able to stay hidden and blockade will be able to stay hidden too. So we're going to move back a little bit. All right. Mm -hmm. Can't see them, but we know they're there. Nan. Destroy the enemy reinforcements. Nan. Zephyr. Really? Vehicles? Come on. Send me a real mech warrior. We got like tons of salvage out of this. I was hoping for a good mech. Give me a 75 tonner. I'd even take a 60 tonner at this point. Come on. Reporting. Enemy contact. They're retreating because they know they're outclassed. Three vehicles. Well, color me disappointed. Four vehicles. Okay, well, let's go make short work of these guys. They probably can't see us, which is why they're all backing up. They're like, hey, there's nobody over there. What are you talking about? There's nobody there. Why are we here again? There ain't nobody here. Ah, uh, what's this guy? 50 tons. Yeah, we have a better chance to hit this guy, I think, probably. Yep. Firing. Firing on so we don't have the big pinpoint damage of the arrow system. Uh, but depending on the missions we take, we can easily swap it in. We can easily swap in the arrow system and the ERs back again. So, I'm not so worried about that. Uh, we can't really hit anybody. Where's that hag going? Well, he's got a hyper assault. Goss. Oh, okay. Comes a scout. Waiting for orders. Going full throttle. Oh, yeah, why not? The back of this guy. Sure, why not? Target locked. On Standing by. Ah, uh, yeah. Want to get rid of this guy? Gotcha. He's got eyes on. We don't want that. Don't think this is going to make a difference, but a oh, better chance to hit. Oh, we got him. Okay, nice. Okay, Griff, the stiff. Let's get into here. And my kid is attempting to sing downstairs. Firing. Nice, two down. And let's see where we can go here. We cannot see that guy, so let's reserve. Let's let him come to us. Roger that. Come on, guys. 
Let's go. So three and a half skulls are way below our league now. Especially for this lance. Might have been inter more interesting if I took the second lance on this one. But I really wanted to salvage. I really wanted to capitalize and not get uh, too much damage. Plus I wanted to see how these guys were going to function together. So the Strix, I don't know. I think I want to load out that other Shadowhawk with the, with the Ultra 20. To just to see how it works. I mean, we could use an Ultra 10. But at that point, you know, you can always use the... Uh, a pair of um, ER larges. You can fire farther, do the same damage. And yeah, it's a lot more heat, but it's also way less tonnage. Because the Ultra 10s are like, what, 10 tons each? Plus ammo. You need at least 3 tons of ammo per, so it's 13 tons each. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, good start. Let's see if we can get in here before this guy goes. Maybe we can finish him up. Firing. Ah, uh, really? Really? Let's just make sure this guy's gone. Firing. It's a lot of destruction. Okay, set up over here. One vehicle left. Most likely can't see where we are. Oh, it's coming around. Didn't shoot though. Yeah, well, we can see you. And firing. Took half his armor. Standing by. Can you get over here to see him? Oh, you can. Well, that's whoever gets here first. Affirmative. Aye, aye. Direct fire. So this wasn't really an average mission, but um, still got 280 rounds left, so it's what? One, two, three and a half turns, so not bad. Oh, look at that. Alright, let's see what we get. Mission successful. Okay, 20% increase. Plenty. Pittance for experience. Lots of kills though, both for uh, the night gear and for the gorilla. The longer range mechs seem to do fairly well. Uh, Arctur will prime 40 tons. I'm not really worried about that. we got lots of stuff, so let's go down and just figure out what we got here. Now these Gauss rifles would be nice. 13 tons. Don't have any of them. Let's grab a pair of them. ER large pulse, we've got one. Let's grab a second one. Regular large pulse, we've got a couple. We've got four of them. Don't need any more. LRM 15s, we've got plenty of these. we got four. Um, don't need narcs, don't need streaks. Don't. we got two Ultra 10s, don't we? got three. Don't need any more. Case now, do we have... We've got one left. So it's still fine. 240 engine, not a big deal. Uh, we still got four of these guys. Wow. Really? All right, let's see what we've got down here. If there's anything good. Double heat sinks. we got lots of. Patchwork materials, 0.25 tons. Yeah. If we're going to take the hyper gosses, we got two hyper goss ammo. Let's take a couple more just so we have it. Regular LRM, narc beacon, streak ammo. We've got like seven tons. we got six left. Yeah, we got one in the thing. Ultra 10 ammo. So this was a really shit really bad take the patchworks maybe you know what let's grab the arctic wolf part how much is this ERPPC is almost 2 million this is 2.6 so if we just we can decide if we decide to sh sell one of these that's fine we'll get some good sea bills for it so let's take these I mean we could do better but all right, we only got the one mech part, but we got a bunch of other weapons. Large pulse, more launchers, uh, medium heavy lasers, small pulses. 
lower arm, actually the extra ton of, well, lots of extra tons of hyper gauss. So, okay, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, nothing for repairs. It's awesome. All right, so not a lot of C-bills, unfortunately, still. Let's have a look at the contracts here, see what we got. See if we can grab some stuff that's going to generate some C-bills here. So we got a lot of, well, dead or alive, steal the prototype is where. 19 days of travel, I don't really want to do that. Dead or alive is 22 days, so forget that. So it really looks like, well, it looks like there's some wolf on the planet. Interesting. Let's have a look on the map here. Who would have thought we would have squashed some of that with the priority mission here? Hey, WTF is here. Defarg, dude. Defarg. Sneaky bastards. Huh. Corrupted soul. Oh, some different people on them before. Alright, well, let's just take another one here then. See what there's what there's up to. What we're up yeah, what's up on the planet. Uh, first things first, though, let's just get our mechs back and our pilots back. Job's done, Thank you. I want to avoid outfitting the new mech just, well, let's see how much it's going to cost. It's going to, well, it's going to cost a fair bit because we got to put an engine in it and everything. And I'm wondering if it is better just to refit the Griffin. Well, we'll see what we do here. See how we make out with another mission here. There's a take the bait. That's against Jade Falcon. We don't want that. Decapitation. I don't know about that. The prisoner escort mission is going to take too long. Save the prototype. Yeah, it's going to take too long. We could take this one. Like, it's only 261 days away. Eh, maybe not. Um, what's close by here? Let's make a quick jump. We got time. That's 18 days, really, eh? 11 days to iron hold. Huntress is 10 days. 15. Could bounce to here. Although it's going to be pretty darn easy. And that's actually... A, there's actually a priority mission there. That was the one and a half skull, wasn't it? Was it one and a half or two and a half? Dead or alive, wasn't it? Gatekeeper, 22 days. Is that Gatekeeper? Yeah, 22 days though. 19. This is too far, right? 32, yeah. That's 11 days to Shadow. Let's head to Shadow. It's got manufacturing. All right. Set course. Let's hope for something good here. Okay. Here we go. Well. Ah. Uh. Let's let it slide for now. I know it's got an injury, eh? Well, stop messing around. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Let's see what we've got in the store. Most particularly ammo. See, E-cooling plus five is like a million C-bills, right? So that's why I'm hoping we pick one up on the ground. Um, hope we pick up a lot of stuff on the ground. The things I really look for when I come in here um, are the uh, heat sink cooling pods, the clan ones, because those are actually really good. Uh, and then I check for ammo just in case there's very strange stuff that you normally don't find. Like, well, rack 10s, rack 2s, right? Um, yeah, these we don't need, like ultra 20 half load. That's kind of interesting, right? I think we got one of these, don't we? We don't have any. It's only 22,000, so I just pick it up, right? That way we got it sitting around. If we ever need a half load, we've got it there already. So anyway, um, let's have a look at the contracts.
There we go. Load them up. Mech factory. Capture a base. It's 1.6 mil in good salvage. That's against the pirates. This is against pirates. Four skull. Destroy base. Destroy a facility. I don't know. Got to try and find some, something fast because it can't be on that long. So let's go with this. Capture the base. This should be relatively easy. Let's go full salvage. We'll make sure we uh, pick apart some good mech parts here. All right, let's deploy and get this sucker done. All right, let's do this. So apparently they won't have any time to get the turrets up and running. At least that's what Darius says. We know how reliable his info is. Find out soon enough, I guess. Don't mind fighting on a cold planet. Definitely favor the Shadowhawk. God, there's nothing between us and the base. It's going to take forever to get there. Doesn't look like there is. Oh, I was wrong. Why do I even open my mouth? Spectre. I see right through you. Ha 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 ha. But um. All right, let's get first shots on him. What is up, buddy? Confirmed. Yeah, one plank. Orders. Oh, hey, nice. <laughs> that was an accident, but uh, nice. What do we got here? Ebola. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Strip some armor off him. All right, firing. I love this no fact that the streaks okay. only fire if they if they know they're going to hit. Osiris. It's a bullet in furnace. Gun carrier. Medium rifle. Oh, they are they are they are pirates though. All right, so. Ah, Luce. We just shoot him, or should we just move in? Let's not worry about these guys. It's getting closer. Fire. That hit something good. Um, can we target from here? No, we can't. We can from here though. Actually, you know what? I want to get closer. Just because we need to keep moving up. Full yeah, let's go this route. Just a better chance to hit. Firing. Oh! Welcome to the jungle. Eh. See what they do. Waiting for orders. And do it, chair. On the move. Full speed. Ah, that's a lot of medium guns. Oof. Well, that's one less vehicle. Sure as frig is. Full throttle. Engaging target. Now we got one on him. What do you need? Oh, you can actually step on him. 
for 90 something damage. Uh, let's go from the front. Putting my weight into it. It's all on the other side so far. Is it this guy or the Bola? Or the Osiris, I mean. This guy's going next. Jesus, this guy's tiny. Yeah, not bad looking though. Nice shooting, Tex. Light damage. Holding firm. Let's wrap up the fight with this Bola if we can. Full speed. No target. No, no. A target right here best chances to hit firing oh not enough eh almost gone though should be able to clean these guys up next turn ow Yeah. What this Osiris pilot must be thinking. He's all like, yeah man, we got this. We got this. We don't got this. Yep. Coordinates received. Firing. See, that's why you need to see your enemy when you're shooting them. <laughs> it's just so enjoyable to watch something like that. Oh. Punishment. Additional pirate reinforcements have been spotted. I'm here. Yeah, let's get rid of our uh, thing right now. Like our resolve goes up so fast cool. now. No I should be using it like all the time if I can. Mostly just vigilance. No, che. Yeah, we, I think uh, we're gonna try with that AC twenty. I think it's probably a smart idea. See if we can get you in there. That's not gonna count, is it? So we're going to wait for the enemy to show their ugly faces and then we'll blow them clean off. You got hostile contacts inbound. Yeah, you already told us that. Oh, somebody's moving pretty quickly though. Either that or they're moving us. After us? Vehicles, come on! Standing by. Gotta stop taking max salvage on pirate missions. What's this thing? Shadowhawk, okay. A demon. Another specter. Eh. All weapons, fire. If we can get enough specter parts. Maybe we can make another specter. I think we faced the specter before. Here's that little better chance to hit. Firing. That's helping out. Let's drop some lead on this mother. Beep. Nicely done. 
Taking at least half his armor. We should be able to finish him up. Mockingbird. Come on, you guys. Not that tough. Yes, Commander. Don't even need to move on this guy. Wow, really lousy chances to hit, though. Yeah, make it a little better. Yeah, but you didn't kill him. Really? I try with the tag, huh? All right, Duce. Yep. Let's finish this guy up. Moving out. Yeah, fire. Roger that. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Yep. Vehicle is safe in Let's go guys, Wittler. Wittler! Alright. Um, what's the chance to hit this guy? Yeah, pretty damn good from up here. Let's get some heavy damage on him so we can wipe him out this turn. Firing. Oh, large laser hit. Ooh! Ow. Enemy destroyed. Now, question is, is that did that guy see me? If I didn't move, it should be hidden. And if I'm at long range for this guy, it should be really hard to hit the gorilla. It's like plus eight at extreme range. See if he can see me here. No, I don't think he can. Ultra 10. So he didn't fire the Ultra 10. He's got no armor. He's got like no armor. Receiving you. Better make sure I'm not in the uh, landing zone here because I got a feeling we might kill both these guys this turn. Oh, do I just CT him? Got the resolve, might as well. Oh! Bang, you're dead. Okay, eyes on the demon. Pretty damn good chances to hit. 250, 150. Let's try and take one of the sides here. Let's fire. Oh man. Griff, dude, you suck. Well, you don't really suck. You just. You suck. <laughs> Today, you suck. We did get a side hit, so let's try again. Mockingbird will probably show you how it's done. Okay, now yes, can drop some lead on this guy. Here it comes. Got it. Not enough. Ready for orders. Well, at least you're not going to be in the on my way. landing zones. Firing everything. We're just going to shoot him. There we go. Vehicle down. Man, we destroyed a lot of stuff on these guys. Mission successful. Alright, 327,000. Not bad. It's enough to make our financial report. Um, clean up any repairs. Timberwolf did take a bunch of damage in the arm. Uh, a fair bit of damage. I think we took a heavy PPC shot there. 
But uh, yeah, not bad overall. Um, Strix, a lot of kills. A lot of kills. Um, these three ER larges, man, I'm telling you, they're nice. We got four on this guy too, so... As long as we can hit better with this guy. What's the difference between these two anyway? Do we not have a... Uh, I guess we don't. I thought we had a... Um, TTS weapons in here, but I guess we don't. That might be something we need to work on getting in there, because I think this guy's got one. Uh, yeah, he does. That's why. Better chances to hit. Okay, let's have a look here. What kind of junk can we get? The Osiris, don't really want it. Um, Shadowhawk part, Spectre parts. I mean, we could take five Spectre parts. Uh, heavy PPC pirate. Almost a million. Um, what else do we got here? Don't think there's really going to be anything we want. Well, big cores. We've got two of these, though. Don't have any 165 or 265s. These are worth 325,000 each. That's a good possibility. Let me drop these two in. That'll give us enough to build the, uh, Almost build it. That's worth it. Um, to build the, uh, the new Shadowhawk. If we use the Shadowhawk. LRM LK ammo is kind of nice. Um, if we don't have, if we're not using LRMs. With an Artemis system. Because uh, there's nothing really out there we want. Like, Well, let's take a couple Spectre parts. Um, I'm just thinking for parts that we might get out of it, but I don't know if it's really worth it or not. It's not better than an Omni, that's for sure. So, maybe not. Let's just go for C-Bills on this run. Uh, what's this thing worth? Not that much. I'm going to drop to 265 and We don't have a 265. Um, what else? Not the Pharaoh. Take the LK. Just so we have it. Probably. I think so. Let's go this route. Like, and the reason why I'm not taking the pirate gear and stuff, um, it's not so much because of the, um, you know, the, uh, the recoil, like, what is it called? The, um, I guess maybe it doesn't jam. It's not because of that anyway. It's just because uh, we're trying to stay with mo with uh, pretty much all clan gear. So that's why I'm not using Inner Sphere stuff at all. Yeah, we got two Osiris pieces, three Spectre pieces. Okay, we're in, we're in range of getting one of these guys. Shadowhawk. We got the Pirate PPC anyway. Medium rifles for sale. Some more some stuff for sale. So we'll make, uh, ha well, SRM Inferno ammo. We'll make some good uh, C-bills off this. Okay, so probably what I'll do is I'll take the Griffin out of service and I'll probably put the just put the Shadowhawk in storage for now just to save a bit of C-Bills and we'll re refit the Griffin. Probably be faster that way. Um, that way we can get up and running. That way we can switch between the Strix and the Griffin in the main lance depending on what we're going in for. Uh, so if we're going to be going in for close range kills and stuff, definitely want to bring the uh, Griffin. And if it's going to be like destroying turrets and stuff, we'll bring the Strix instead to be able to have that long range firepower. I think that's what we'll do. Um, it's probably the best route to go, I think, uh, at the moment. Because uh, we are at 1.5, 1.15 mil, almost 1.16 mil um, per uh, financial report, which is like all that we've got right now. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right, so we're going to leave the episode here. Uh, if you'd like to drop a like. Also, put any comments in the comment section down below. What do you think this um, this main lance needs? Um in terms of an extra mech. Uh, am I going too much with the lar the ER larges? They seem to be working fairly well. Uh, we'll know better once we take some five skull missions coming up, um, how well they are working. Um, but once I think we, once we keep get that Ultra 20 back in the lands, I think that's really gonna help out with the uh, assault mechs and even some heavy mechs. So I make sure the mech is really fast so it can get in close and uh, use that Ultra 20 as best it can. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's that's an option. Either that, I mean, 
well, I was just thinking the other way we could go is is dual Gauss or hypervelocity Gauss, and um, go with the the uh, Gauss um, fire control system that we have. That's like plus three for Gauss rifles or something to increase our accuracy. Let me think about it. I mean, we, we definitely need recoil reduction. We don't have any weapon mounts, I don't think, at the moment. Um, I think we got one in the Strix. I could probably pull that out. Um, but we're definitely going to need a weapon mount for the Ultra 20. So I'll have to think about that between episodes. All right, so leaving it here. Um, yeah, so until next time, everybody, we'll see you all later.